Hello everyone. Last time we spoke about an important macronutrient called carbohydrates. We spoke about what happens when there is deficiency or excess of carbohydrate intake in your meals. Today's topic is a continuation of that. We'll speak about what happens when you have excess of proteins in your meal or what happens when you're protein deficient. Today's topic is all about that. Don't forget to like, subscribe and follow. So let's talk about the functions of the another important macronutrient called proteins. We all know proteins are so vital because of its transporting functions, its role in enzyme transportation, hormonal balances, its signaling molecules, acid-base balance, fluid balance and so on. So let's talk in the next slide about what happens when you are protein deficient. So let's talk about what happens when you are protein deficient. We all know protein deficiency leads to loss of muscle because of which there is weight loss, there is fatigue, there is confusion, irritability. Apart from that, you will definitely face thin hair, brittle nails, low libido is also a sign of protein deficiency. We often wonder why we get fruit cravings and it's only because of protein deficiency. Apart from this, protein deficiency also leads to slow wound healing. It leads to either too much acid or base because of which there is acidosis later on. We often have seen patients who are purely non-vegetarian face constipation. So yes, you heard it right. Excess of proteins leads to constipation. Apart from that, there is kidney dysfunction. There is ammonia in the blood. There is a loss of bone because of vitamin D and calcium being low. There is also protein fraction in the gut if your stomach acid is low. Apart from this, there is acidosis and dehydration and musculoskeletal issues because of muscle weakness and fatigue that happens when there is low protein.